this gives you a sense of uh, the global refugee crisis. It's not just a European crisis or a Syrian crisis, <coughs> but this city of half a million and is one of many. There are there's cities in, in Kakuma in Kenya, in southern Ethiopia, in Sudan, in Central African Republic, in Yemen, uh, in, in, Ethiopia, in northern Ethiopia with the Eritreans. There are, uh, the reason that we have these people coming from Syria and the reason we have uh, the, the global refugee crisis in the news is because the refugee regime is broken. So for, for, the, for two decades now, since the early 90s, the numbers of protracted refugees, that means people who've been displaced for more than five years, has been growing and growing and growing. And that has not been in the media. So although uh, certainly in Europe there's a, some sort of surprise that this is a new thing, that there's all these numbers coming out of Syria, it's not. What that is, is that's just the, the bit that's tipped the balance um, that has made the flow newsworthy. Because I worked for Human Rights Watch in 2008, I was going around detention centres and beaches in Sicily and Italy, where there were uh, thousands of people coming every year. And they have been coming every year for a decade. But the numbers have peaked now um, because of the Syrian crisis. So that has added to what was already a considerable flow. Um, and there are large numbers coming out of sub-Saharan Africa and have been for the best part of 10 years, if not 20 years. And that flow is not going to stop. Um, but because they're coming, taking the illegal route, because the legal route is broken. 